Hi, I'm here in my kitchen coming to you with another grocery haul. So, um, we went to one of a, a store that we go to sometimes in San Francisco called the Rainbow Grocery. Uh-oh, I have somebody. You want a grape? Okay, go ahead. Let's get you some grapes. Here. Yeah, you want some more? Oh, there you go. Say bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye. <laughs> okay, so we went to the Rainbow Grocery in San Francisco, and I just wanted to share with you some of the goodies that we got. Right here, we have some blueberries. The girls like to put that um, in their cereal, and sometimes I'll put them in smoothies or like muffins or uh, pancakes or something like that. We have like a couple of containers of, I think these are raspberries. We have a few containers of uh, blackberries. Right here I have a bag. These came in like the little, I guess those little pine containers and I just, those little green pine containers. So I just dumped them out and put them in here. I'm trying to, excuse me, while I'm trying to open this up with one hand so you all can see what these strawberries look like. They smell really great. So I got some strawberries, which we love. I have like, I know, I think I got like three or so of the mangoes. I forgot which kind of mangoes these are, but I like getting this kind. So I got like three mangoes. I have a couple of bunches of bananas. I think this is a cantaloupe or some different, some kind of melon. Uh, I'm not really sure what kind it is, but I got one of those. Right here, I got my favorites. Some heirloom tomatoes. Can you see in there? So I got some heirloom tomatoes, because I like making, you know, like getting my little sauces together and, um, you know, just storing those in the refrigerator. So I got some heirloom tomatoes. I have a honeydew melon. I got a couple of onions right here, some garlic, a little bit of ginger. Right here, I forgot what kind. They had like a ton of different kinds of tomatoes. Now, these aren't heirlooms, but there's some other type of um, tomatoes that they had. So I'm just like showing those. Like some of them I use to like make sauces and some of them like I might use for like pizza or just like to cut up in salads and stuff like that or just to kind of like eat plain. I have a little mini watermelon right here. Um, I have a few gold or Yukon potatoes that I got. Uh, I forgot the name of this melon but this is a different kind of melon. All these are like in the same kind of melon family. I have, they had like a, at least six or seven or eight or nine different varieties of plums. So I got a couple of different varieties um, of plums here. Over here, I got a couple of heads of uh, spinach. One of my daughters, she likes putting lettuce on, di on her different sandwiches and just, you know, eating it with different things. So she got like a bag of little curly, a one bunch of little curly lettuce. Here's another variety of plums. See this compared to that plum. So this is another different variety of plums they had. I got some nectarines right here. I got like four brown bags of red grapes. They have a, had a bunch of different kinds of grapes, but we like the little red grapes. So I just got uh, some of those. We got like a little thing of cherries. Um, I got some corn. I got a bunch of corn because Sometimes instead of just boiling the corn, like if I need fresh corn for something, I'll just cut it off the cob and use it for whatever I might need it in. So I got that. I think this covers the produce. So I'm going to swing it around like I do, Spike Lee style. I got um, sometimes instead of using like mayonnaise or mustard for um, condiments on sandwiches, I'll get something like this. So I got some of their cilantro chutney. I got, um, let me turn on some lights over here. I had some, these look really interesting. They had like a lady on the um, end cap giving samples of like um, some jam. So I got some kiwi jam. We got some 
Meyer lemon, uh, marmalade. We had some, what is this? Doppel dandy plute jam. And we have some blueberry jam. Okay, this is one of my little muffins. This is like a little vegan, gluten free, not muffins, but little cupcakes. I got that for myself. Of course, our life is not right without any Bible bread. These are the little uh, Ezekiel brand cinnamon English muffin things. The girls like using this um, flat bread for like their sandwiches and stuff like that. So I got a couple of packs of those right here. These are like some English muffins. Uh, these are cinnamon raisins, so I got a pack of those. And they said they wanted to try this bread. So this, what is this? This is honey raisin bread. So just, this is the first time I ever got this. I haven't really seen this before. So just to kind of give you an idea of what it looks like. And I'll show you the ingredients. But for some reason... My camera doesn't this camera auto focus, honey? Or you don't know? Uh, okay, so whatever this camera is not auto focusing for some reason, which is not good. So sorry about that. Um, I have some of their fresh baked bread. I think this is like some kind of uh oatmeal molasses loaf or something like that. Here was another little artisan bread of theirs that I picked up. So it's from the Artisan Bakery sourdough. This sandwich it's sandwich bread. I'm trying to hold it so you can see what it looks like. So it's a little small loaf like that. And then we got the typical the Alvarado Street Bakery. Their um their fiber bread. So we got a couple of loaves of those. Let's go over here. I was totally out of eggs, so I got some happy eggs. As you can see, I got three dozens of those. So I'm not gonna open this one up. Um, I got some butter right here. I got a bunch of different kinds of butter. Uh what is this? This is cheese. I don't know what kind of cheese this this is. Oh, it's Australian um cheddar. So I think I might have picked these up. So I got a couple of things of cheese. My kids like putting cream cheese on a bunch of different things, so I got one of those. I think this is a mozzarella, so I got um, a fresh mozzarella, and I think my husband might have picked these up, or I did. I'm not sure. Some more cheddar cheese. I saw him picking up a couple of cheeses, so I don't know who got this. I uh, have some butter. I like getting the pasture butter, so I got one, two, three. I have four of those. And I got some yogurt because I like using yogurt and different things that might call for like um, cream cheese or sour cream or something like that. So I got this brand of yogurt. I got some more um, pistachio milk. So I use this in my, I mean this is only like the second time I got it but I really like it in like my smoothies and stuff like this. So I got another one. So I haven't gotten these in a long, long time. But like the cacao almond smoothie. So, okay, I have to back up some. So I got a couple of those. I actually really like these a lot. And we got like a bunch of different nut milks that our children love. Here's some oat milk, some seven grain vanilla milk. Um, they make little mini hemp milks now, which my son loves these. We have like some little mini um, hazelnut milks. This is a chocolate hazelnut milk. Here's an original hazelnut milk. And we got a bigger chocolate one. Uh, some rice milk. And I got a couple of the So Delicious coconut milks back here. I have some um, almond milk. So I'll use those in my smoothies as well. And I just like drinking these. The uh, kefir. So I just kind of like drink these just like as they are. My kids picked out some of the little mini yogurts and stuff that they like to eat have some whipping cream i use that for ice cream or just for different things that i'm making we got this big uh greek yogurt down here for my son i got another one um to use for baking and he got this little little one on top this has a yogurt and a fruit separated because he likes those we have some kombucha we didn't get as many because my husband stopped off earlier 
and got a bunch from a different store so we have the revive brand which we always get um i'm kind of getting back into the synergies now like at least they're grapes um we got another big revive kombucha my son got his little acai and we have little mini shots of good belly and this is a straight shot good belly haven't gotten this one before but i figured it'll be good i got what i call my fake crisco this is just this is just palm oil so it's shortening i use this for baking got some little salted caramels i got some more coconut sugar i got some dark muscovado sugar which is almost like brown sugar but it's not i got some powdered sugar so i can make cupcakes for my daughter's birthday next week i got the um gluten-free vanilla cake mix i got a couple of packs of, of those got some yeast because i needed it so and i'm gonna go over here now these are just kind of like a few household items that i picked up because i need to order some things like shampoo and stuff off the internet so we needed some more dish liquid here's like some little mini gels i picked up so i'm going to try them out these are like dishwashing little dishwashing pods some conditioner this is some shampoo another shampoo a big conditioner and these are like i have these upside down these are leave-in no this is a shampoo and this is a leave-in conditioner and another leave-in conditioner and these are the little um hair rinse dyes that i use for myself the sur brazil henna cream rinses and i'm just kind of going to pan you around oh there's an intermission right here for my son <laughs> so i have one more thing to show this is just really quick we have the bean chips, bonitos, my children like those. We're now into these little lentil snaps, which are like really addicting. These things are like super delicious, especially the Caesar ones. And then like we got an onion and thyme, so that's yummy. And the ancient grain or the one degree um, cereal, so that's the vegan, excuse me, veganic sprouted uh, brown rice crisp the what's that ancient grain o's and the cacao crisp and the girls got some other stuff like some little snacks for themselves but they like ate that already so that's not on camera and i'm going over here so that i can find my receipt sorry that i'm like taking you all over my kitchen so this is where we went you can see that the rainbow grocery and that's in it's, for some reason my camera is so not focusing sorry about that that's in san francisco oh uh, i would have my husband come hold the receipt for me but he's like busy so this is what we're he might be asleep this is um what i'm working with and i think we spent a total like the total was going to be different at first the total at first was going to be I think like seven hundred and forty six dollars but they gave us a twenty percent off coupon you have like different employees that work in the store and they kind of just like they're like the discount coupon fairies and they just walk around and give coupons to um different people so we got a 20 percent off coupon so it brought our total down from like 746 to you can't see that to 611 dollars so that was actually really great so um this is my grocery haul if you have any questions or comments leave them below and if you made it this far to the end thank you for watching bye